In this video, we're going to talk about tiered linking and scheduling. This video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because we need to cover a couple of things. Actually, we need to do three things in one video. First of all, we need to make one account vision project, and then I'm going to make two more projects. First, I'm just going to make this project, and later on, I'm going to explain what the point is for making it. Let's go to New and Account Creation. I'm going to name this Tiered Linking Accounts. The second one we want to create is Social Network. I'm going to name this Tiered Linking Social Network. The final one, let's go with Social Bookmarking for this one. I'm going to name it Tiered Linking Social Bookmarking. All right, now that we have this done, we need to put them to use. In order to open the tiered linking option, we need to go to Tools and then select Tiered Linking. Over here, we get an interface that you probably haven't seen before. So this might look like something new to you. I'm going to explain right now on this and how to use these options. First of all, we have the register account option over here we should go ahead and select the new project that we created called tl accounts you'll see how to use this later on now the second option is tier one tier two and the fourth option is tier three it allows us to select three tiers of backlinkings Basically, what these things do is Tier 3 would link back to the Tier 2 pages, and Tier 2 pages would link to Tier 1 pages. How is this different than what we've done before? The duty of this and the power of a tier linking is that this is all done randomly. For example, all the articles, let's say we post Web 2.0 articles in here. And let's say we have 10 of these. So we post 10 articles every single day. From these articles, the links are going to link back to some of the pages from social networking. All of these is going to be done randomly. The links inside the Web 2.0 articles are going to change every time, and they're going to link to a new social network. This is going to make it look like it's happening in naturally to Google. It's going to give you a lot more power than just doing this regularly and manually, which is also kind of impossible because doing this manually would take too much time, and doing it automatically with Rank Builder NEO is going to be a lot easier. Over here, we want to go ahead and select the TL Social Network. Then Tier 2, we're going to do TL Social Bookmarking. Now, we want to go ahead and add all of these. Before we go there, I just want to explain, we can also use Tier 3 if we want, but for this video, we're just going to go with Tier 1 and Tier 2. You could also use just Tier 1 if you want. You can add, select this. You just go with one of these, but I'm going to go with 1 and 2. Now, let's go to Accounts and click Edit. Over here, we're going to get the Standard Accounts page, just like the one we used before. Nothing new or strange with that. We just want to make sure you select the Project Profile. Then, over here, let's go ahead and select Social Networking and Social Bookmark. We're going to select all of these. As you can see, we have a lot of sites. Then we want to go to Email, and we want to select Disposable Email, and that's all we're going to do right now. We're not going to click the Start button. It's very important that you do not click the Start button. Just select the sites that you're going to submit to, and then close this window. Now. I'm going to explain later why. 
Next, we want to do the same thing for Tier 1, which is social networking. We want to select the sites, all sites that we have. Then we want to go to Submit Information, and we just want to insert the information as we did previously in one of our previous videos. So everything needs to look like before. I'm going to go ahead and paste my article. Then I'm going to grab the title. And then up here, again, the title can be spinnable. When you do tiered linking, it's very important to make this text spinnable as much as possible because if you don't, then every time it's going to pause at the exact same article. And that's something you want to avoid because this will be posting a lot of versions of this article. You want to make sure it's spinnable. You want to make sure it has a lot of spinnable words so that it looks like a unique article every time it's being posted. Okay, make sure this is spinnable. Either hire someone to do this for you or do it yourself or use a spinner software. Whatever you want to do, just make sure it's heavily spinnable. In my case, I'm going to leave it as is because I don't want to waste your time now making it spinnable, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Then over here, we have the tags and keywords, which can also be spinnable and should be spinnable. So attract women online, date women online, find online dates, and something like that. Then we have project URL. This can stay online dating. That's fine. That's it. Because this is tiered one and you want these articles to be linking on your main site. The last thing to do is to insert your, your money site URL. We're just going to do the regular stuff, google.com, and we're going to close the tag. You want to do it like two or, or three of these links inside your article. I'm just going to go with one, but usually I want to go two or three. The same thing, a h ref equals, then you open the quote, you insert your URL in there, and you need to close it with quotes here, which I forgot to do. So make sure you close the quotes after the URL. Then here goes your keyword, and then you close the attribute as well. That's it. Again, we don't want to click the Start button here either. We just want to close this once it's done. Now, we want to go to Tier 2 social bookmarking and let's hit edit all right over here we want to go to submit information then in the submit information we just want to do the same we want to post an article i have a different article for this i'm going to paste it in there i'm just going to move the title from here up here Again, this is spinnable. I'm not going to spin this and add those texts for you now because you don't want to waste too much time on this video. So online dating, I'm just going to add a couple of keywords. Online dating, online dating advice, find women online, and that's pretty much it. Now, the important part are the URLs. This is where you need to do something that's a little different. Instead of actually posting the URL, you need to post something that I call random link. All you need to do is start like this with the percentage sign and then type random link and end with the percentage sign. That's all you need to do. You don't actually need to post your URL and I'll explain why. Let's go ahead and click preview. All right, looks good. Why did you just do this? Why would you post random link instead of your URL? What is this random link actually going to do? Again, I'm going to close this without hitting the start button. I'm just going to close it. Now, I'm going to explain what that random link is doing. The random link is going to select one link from the social network post every time it submits to social bookmarking sites. It's going to select one different link. Let's say today you post 10 links on social networking sites and tier two is going to bookmark to 100 sites. 
and from those 10 links, it's not going to take the exact same link, but it's going to change between those links. It's going to pick one of those 10 links randomly, and then it's going to bookmark that link. This is very important because everything needs to happen randomly. We're not going to do, for example, if you have 100 social bookmarking, we're not going to choose one link for 10 times and the second link 10 times as well and do that for all 10 links because that might not look natural. That's why we're making things up. One link maybe gets bookmarked 20 times. Another might get bookmarked just 12 times. Another one might get bookmarked one time or two times. It doesn't matter, but in everything, it happens randomly. It looks natural to Google. Finally, the last option is to go ahead and select the links that you want to post per day. Uh, per day, if you have a new website, I wouldn't go more than 8 to 10. I think I would stick with 8 if you have a new website. Now, if you have a website that is already established and is ranking pretty well, then you could go with more links. For, for a new website, about eight is fine. Then over here, you can select the maximum amount of links that you want to build with tier one. So we'd go to 20 or 30 links. Then tier two, we want to go with more. More links per day than tier one. Ideally, we could do like maybe 35 or so 33 then the maximum would be like 200 links to social bookmarking maybe a little bit less just don't exaggerate don't go to the maximum right away because it's it's going to look suspicious you can go like 60 and and then 200 here that's fine even if it's a new site those numbers are fine once we change this pay attention to the estimated end date and just look at how this changed when I move the slider. If I move the slider and if I increase the number of links, then this process is going to run for more days. If I decrease this, then the process is going to end sooner. If you didn't realize by now, instead of creating all these links right away, we use the scheduling feature to basically drift the, the backlink ration daily. By now, this we make it we make it look more natural to Google, and we don't go the thousand links at once, but we do it gradually, every day, for a certain period of time. Now, in order to make the scheduling function work, you must select the option to run the program automatically when Windows starts. To do that, you need to go to Options. I did explain this in the very first video, but I'm going to go through that again, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Just go to Options, then over here, you make sure that the program runs automatically when Windows starts. All right, let's get back here. Now that I've selected the number of links per day that I want to build, I also selected the maximum number of links that will go for each tier. I can now go ahead and save the schedule. The schedule's been saved, and it's ready to run. Now, all I have to do is click the Run button. It's going to run from the 1st of May until the 7th of May. Let's go ahead and click Run. The process will begin. First, it's going to start reading these accounts. It has a lot of work to do because we have over 400 accounts. Then, once that's done, it's going to submit a couple of links for today. As soon as it completes the number of links that we selected for today, it's going to close and the software will continue the next day once you start your computer or if you don't start the next day then as soon as you start your computer it's going to continue that's basically how it works every single day it's going to build accounts every single day it's going to build links if this option is really very harmful it is really good way to beat your competition and stand out from the rest because most people, all they're doing is just reading a bunch of links today or like 100 links in one week, and then they get lazy and they don't do this anymore. While the Rank Builder NEO, even if you're lazy, you can still keep doing it. Just schedule this process and that's it. You don't even have to think about it. Maybe you can check in a week or two and, and then close another process and it takes five minutes per day. It works for as much as a week or even a month. 
you can schedule it up front for just five minutes one day and it can work for a couple of weeks. It's definitely something you want to be doing and to really boost your backlinking efforts and to get a lot more backlinks that are actually efficient and are actually working with the newest Google and in the Penguin updates. That's pretty much how this function works. I'm just going to move the window up here. As you can see, it's reading accounts right now. I'm not going to wait for this to finish because we already saw how this is done in some of the previous videos. There's really no point in making you wait another 5 or 10 minutes for this to finish. Test it out with your own software. If, if you want to test it out quicker, then just select some properties that have less accounts. Don't select 400 accounts. Uh, go with PDF sharing sites and social networks. So you'd have about 50 accounts. Just test things out to see how this works. Then you can scale up to some of the bigger options here like social bookmarking and web 2.0 article sites and so on. All right, in the next video, we're going to talk about link indexing using link pipeline. I'll see you in the next video.